Hello everyone. How are you today? It is Monday and it is a good day and I need to change my glasses so I can see because oh and not poke myself in the eye. Now I can see you. Hi everyone. How are you? Um, like I said, it is Monday and I hope you all are having a productive Monday. Hi Chris. Hi Laura. How are you? And Shannon. Hi. Hi Kay. How are you? Thank you all for joining us and watching. Hi, Sue and Laura. Let's see who else is on here. And Emily. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Ask the Nanny. Hi, Sarah. Tonight, um, we were supposed to have Danny the Manny, uh, but he got called away to an assignment out of the country so me being who I am <laughs> we have there's no sound oh my goodness hold on hold on hold on hold on can you hear me now can you all hear me now somebody anybody can you hear me oh you have sound Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. How are you? Hi, Crystal. Okay, great. I have sound. Thank you. So, as I was saying, Danny Demandy was supposed to be here, but he is jet setting across to another country right now. So, somewhere around midnight, uh, the thought hit me. Uh, it's our six month anniversary. I just started counting and I realized that Ask the Nanny has been going for about six months. And I had planned to do this show probably next month. And because um, when it hit me, I thought next month. And then I said, nope, let's go for it today. So today we have Nanny Crush Monday. And if you all didn't get the message as to what that is, Nanny Crush Monday is all about the nannies that inspire you, the nannies that listen to you as you kind of bend their ear, as you talk and, and get all your frustrations out about uh, the things that you're going through at work, things that you're going through at home, the people who encourage you to go to the next level in your career, to take that next training, take that next step, jump off the fence and go do it. All of those, those are the people that we are um, talking about tonight. Now, the rules are, if you want to give a shout out to someone, you have about three minutes each. We're going to try to get as many in as possible. If you want to give a shout out to someone, tag them in the comments. And uh, then, so they'll know to watch. Share this video so they'll know to watch. And... Hi Emily, how are you? So they, uh, everyone will know how know to watch, and you can tag them, and they can actually hear you when you tag them. So you have three minutes, and those of you who have not already gone into your uh, Facebook settings, go into your Facebook settings and allow. Thank you, Deidre. <laughs> um. Go into your Facebook settings and allow Facebook to have access to your camera and to your microphone so that we can hear you. I can only have one person on, oh, that's two fingers, one person on at a time. So please allow me some grace. And if you are a, a mom or a dad boss of a nanny and you want to give a shout out to your nanny, please feel free to do so too. So. We're going to get started, and I'm going to bring in Miss Emily Carter. Hi, let's see if I can. There hey! She 
I did it. <laughs> you did it. Yay. Now, before you get started, I just want to say thank you. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Uh, for you all who don't know, Emily is one of my greatest cheerleaders. Oh. She she's makes me better. She's one of the ones that makes me better. Last night, she came to my rescue. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And, That's why I brought you on first. And you make me better <laughs> also. I've enjoyed these on Monday nights. But uh, she came to my rescue last night. I was like, ah! I was freaking out, honestly. <laughs> I'm freaking out. And I said, Emily, help. And she said, okay, sure. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I just wanted to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every week she always tells me, I'm going to be there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm, and last week, I think she was, what, at Dave and Buster's? Somewhere with your children? Yes, I was at Dave and Rushing Buster's. Home. And I made it home. <laughs> and she made it home. And she said, tag me in. I'm here. I'm so I was so tired. I fell asleep halfway through. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. <laughs> right. <laughs> so do you have anyone that you want to tag? Or you want to uh, say, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a thank you, someone that you have, you have a nanny crush Monday? Actually, you were one of my nanny crushes, and you inspire me because you are just a godly woman, and I try to bring that into all the families that I nanny, so that really inspires me to go to the next level also, to walk the, the God walk into the families that I work with also. And to push me to go to the next level also, to not just stay where I'm at, to see what my next goals are in nannying. What I have a calling for is I like to work with the kids that a lot of people don't like to work with. I do like the older kids. I like the kids with the special needs, the ones that don't necessarily fit the mold. And I've always been like that because before I even nannied, I was a juvenile mm -hmm. probation officer. I worked with kids that nobody wanted to work with. And then after that, I was a, a, a teacher's aide for severely disturbed teenagers. So I kind of, you know, I, I look for oh, the challenging you, families. <laughs> you definitely need plenty of prayers before you go in there and definitely some after you get in there as you work. Yes, yes, I yes. can see that. <laughs> Yes. So is there anybody else you oh, want to? Oh, I have to? two friends watching. Stella and Erin. Hey! <laughs> Yay! Hi, Stella. Hi, Erin. I can't see them. <laughs> Apparently, my, I, I get things after you all do. So mine is uh, a little bit delayed uh, from what you all have. Uh, so hello to everyone who just came in. And like I said, if you have someone that you want to uh, give a shout out to, to your next Monday. Okay. Was that me or you? I have no idea. There was a buzz. <laughs> I heard a buzz. And that's why I said that. Very um, but uh, yeah. So if uh, anyone wants to give a shout out, please, you know, tag someone or I will just start randomly inviting you on <laughs> so um, but I'm glad that you found a way to deal with the families and bring God into their lives I usually when I have a hard time and I'm having a, um, a hard day I usually start singing the song Jesus loves me that's my way of praying when the kids are, you know, starting to wake, wear on my nerves and they're they're steady going like this at each other. And I'm like, I just start singing Jesus loves me. And they just kind of look up at me and it just calms everything down. I'm like, thank you, Lord. Yes. <laughs> you did it again. So, yes. And in my car when I'm transporting kids, whether it's the young toddlers in the morning or my older kids in the afternoon when we're going to soccer and football practice, I always have praise and worship music in the car. And the parents love it. 
because I don't have to worry about there being bad lyrics or bad messages being sent to the kids that are inappropriate. Yes. Yes. And sometimes the kids will even know the songs and they'll start singing it too, which I'm like, Oh yay, they know it. (laughs) So (laughs) makes me feel good. (laughs) I know. Right. Yes. My little three-year-old is singing this little light of mine. I said, I don't think I've ever sang that song to you. I said, who, who did you learn it? I learned it at school. I yes. said, oh, okay. And they were like, okay, I'm let's like, sing it. <laughs> <laughs> let's sing. So this little light of mine was uh, very popular last week during spring break. <laughs> so, and I needed, because both of them were at home and they're two little boys and they're going, yeah, 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 yeah at each other. So, I had to bring this little light of mine back. So they calmed you down by singing. (laughs) Yeah. They calmed me down because I like having things for them to do. And because there's a baby in the mix now and she has a nap time, so I have to wait on her to get done with her nap before I can do things with them. And then they both like doing different things. And then there's only one of this toy. And of course it belongs to one person. It doesn't belong to them and it back and forth. And being a negotiator is, is hard. It is. It's hard. No matter what the age of the kids are, because I have to negotiate not only with the toddlers, but then my afternoon family, they're seven, nine, and then the oldest just turned 11 today. And we still have to negotiate. It's a different type of negotiation where I have to be a little more, I'm able to kind of use my mom voice with them. And <laughs> and their mom, had t- she told me a little over a year ago when she hired me, she's like, it's okay to use your mom voice because their last nanny was a little too relaxed with them. So uh... they know sometimes when I'm serious and mean business. <laughs> so, but you, uh... like you have to learn your families too. And you have to learn the kids, each different family, different techniques work. And I, I think that's yeah. what's made me successful is I'm not, I'm not the same way with each kid with each family. I learn my children that I work with too. Yes, that's that's important. Yes, Karen, we are posting our crushes now. So post your crush and I'll bring you on and let you uh, uh, speak to your crush. But like you said, um, Emily, I have that, what I like to call that steel small voice, not not S T I L L, but S T E E L. That steel small voice that when I say, I need you to go now. <laughs> and I, I, this is what I expect you to do. And I get, I get right down their level and I get, I kind of stand behind them so I can just kind of talk in their ear. And I tell them, this is what I expect of you now. I either you go now or I'm going to count to three and you know what's going to happen when I count to three and that usually gets them going. So (laughs) I have no problem with, you know, sometimes I get to two and they're like, okay. (laughs) They're like, Oh, she means business. (laughs) And it's not in a mean way. It's in a, a loving way. Yes. Yes. Because I don't yell at them, but they know when I get my voice that I mean business. And that voice, that quiet voice, because I have a silly voice and I play with them and I sing with them and I, you know, just tickle them all the time. But then when when they're doing something, I say, okay, I need you to listen to my words. And then I make them repeat what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. Do you hear what I said? Yes. What did I say? Uh, hmm. Let me think. I'm like, are you forty? <laughs> <laughs> the three year old is like, hmm. I said, did you understand my words? Hold on a minute. I'm thinking, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> I want to laugh so bad, <laughs> but you can't laugh until they leave the room. <laughs> and I just got kind of hurt. Okay, tell me what I said. And he tells me, I said, okay, go do what I asked you to do. And then I run into the kitchen, grab a towel and put it over my mouth so I can't hear me. 
be laughing because it's too funny because he's so serious mm -hmm. and he uses that finger mm. so yeah that's when i always love but to text the the moms and the dads and say do you know what they said today or did today <laughs> Because they'll say, oh, my gosh, that is so funny. But you can't do it in front of the kid because then they'll just do it again and again and again. And then it becomes a habit. Yes. It be a habit. But thank you, Emily, for being one of my biggest cheerleaders oh. and coming to my rescue. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> so next I am going to bring on Miss Karen. Okay, let me exit you out because I can okay. only bring one. I'll still song. be on. Okay. Miss Karen Fancy Pants. Let's see. There you go. Okay. Karen, I'm not sure what's going on, but it says that I can't invite you on, and I don't know why. Okay, Karen, are you on your phone, or are you on your um, laptop? Because if you're not on your laptop, then I can't add you. Okay, Miss Deidre, do you have a a nanny crush Monday? Let's see if Miss Deidre is going to join us. It says adding. And it's still adding. Okay. Miss Emily has one. Okay, Miss Emily. This is Emily Kate Rowland, not the same Emily. This Hi. is a different Emily. <laughs> I am totally in a robe. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I just, like, I'm on a work trip, and so I've been uh, relaxing. Oh, you, that's right. You're behind us. You you probably just now get waking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two hours behind I think I'm in Vegas am I two hours behind you yes I think two okay. hours behind I think it's two hours behind that, those two hours have totally messed my family up on this too <laughs> yeah. so yeah hold my on mini crush. hold on just one second okay ladies if you have a crush please tag them in the comments so they'll know to watch so that and hear you live when you say what why you admire them or how they inspire you or encourage you so um i'm not sure if you did that yet emily or not but i totally did you're it, here i will be here. So, go right ahead. <laughs> so sorry you're about here, that. So go right ahead. oh i've got one i've got one i'm like oh I, she's asking me to be on live right now okay here we go so <laughs> Mine is Aline Mathurin. Um, her energy and positivity in the community is, I mean, it's off the charts. I totally agree with you. I, I mean, I aspire every day to be more like her. And her daily post on her Facebook page, personal, and my nanny circle is absolutely amazing. And she just totally is everything to me a nanny should be. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. Like she's so I, amazing. I, I I love her too. She the way she she has this no nonsense yes. about her. It's like yes. okay, I'm gonna tell you the truth. You're not gonna like it, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> and you know what? Somehow. Manner because I know 
you got you know it and you hear it in her voice that she cares about us and she cares about yeah. what we do and how we succeed and and the things that we you know the little stupid things that we do like we you know you should not have done that there's <laughs> like a little why you like on your show that like, reprimand <laughs> I know, and then, you know, I think a lot of it, too, for her is that she's got that beautiful Caribbean accent, and she's so soft and gentle, but when all hell breaks loose with her, like, and she's going to get onto you, it still seems so sweet because of her accent, you know, and I just love that yes. about her. She is very passionate about what she does. She's very yes. passionate about when she gets on and she does her lives and she starts talking, she, whether she's telling, you know, talking about parents, whether she's talking about nannies, our kids, our situations, or the laws, or whatever it is she's talking about, you can guarantee she has that passion behind it and she gives it her all. And Definitely. I strive to do that too. I strive to give my all. And we all you do. are different. I you mean, do too. My passion comes out, you know, I laugh a lot. I like I like laughter. It's great medicine. Yeah. I, you know, sometimes I have this nervous laugh and it gets me in trouble because I know it's not funny, but I can't help it because that's just who, that's what comes out instead of, hmm, I just start laughing and for no reason. And it's like, oh, I said, is there a name for that? But yeah, yeah. that's, that's or me, I'm, I'm, where when I'm starting to laugh. It's usually when something bad has either happened to someone else or myself. Like there is no, it doesn't matter if it's happened to me or somebody else. Like I cannot help but get the giggles about it. It just knocks me out every time. Cause if something bad is going to happen to someone, I usually see it and see it hit in the process of it happening. And I'm like, God, why? You froze on me. Miss M. Am I ah, here? There you are. You froze I'm on back. me. <laughs> so sorry. The cell service is terrible no, here. Oh, no, you're, you're back. You're back. <laughs> you're back. But I, I just love the vision she has for the community. And for us as individuals, she goes down to that molecular level with us. It's not yes. just global and it's not just individual countries or whatever. She gets right down to the heart of the problem. If you're having an issue, she gets right down to the issue with it for you. So, yes, she really, I, I do too. So, yes. well, bring your next nanny on. I've really enjoyed watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna bring my next nanny on. Let me see. And I'm gonna close you out and we'll talk to you later. Yes, I'll see you in a few weeks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was Emily and she had a crush. Okay. Now, Miss Karen, I'm going to try and see. Oh, Karen left a message. She says, okay, the first is Myrna Alphonse Newman, who I also refer to as the Pied Piper. She literally has children and mommies follow her around. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I see it happen almost daily. Myrna is incredibly wise, non judgmental, inspiring, and my screen keeps jumping. That's why I keep stopping. Uh, provocative, kind, and giving. And I learn something from her every time I'm in her presence. I have to hop off Facebook now. Sorry we couldn't connect this time. Ah, okay. Yes, Myrna is awesome. Now, who else has a Nanny Crush Monday? Who would you like to uh, tell you appreciate them, you, they inspire you, or let's see. Let 
me see who is um I cannot Miss Shannon Miss Shannon Douglas ah, it says I can't bring you on for some reason I don't know why but I can't bring you on let's see Shanice would you like to come on I okay hold on all these people I cannot bring let me see let me see if I do it this way okay if I do it this way and search Okay, I sent an invitation. Now let's see. Okay, it's not Miss Lucretia. Let's see. I'm adding you. Let's see if it'll add you. For some reason, it will not. Facebook has been not good to me lately as far as adding guests. But I'm going to try to get everyone on. That's why I asked you to go and give Facebook permission to use your camera and your mic so I can add you on. Let's see. Do we have anyone else? I'd like to have uh, add another one, um, Miss Chevelle. I don't know if she's watching because I get a delayed. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me. My um, my post is usually delayed from everybody else. Um, but I would like to give a shout out to Chevelle. Chevelle was the first person who I met or actually just talked to one on one when I went to my first uh, INNTD training. Uh, that's International Nanny Training Day. Um, she got me to jump off the fence and get into the nanny world and get involved. And that is how Ask the Nanny came about. And she was actually my first guest, one of my first guests here on Ask the Nanny. So I want to give a shout out to her and thank her for pushing me and for encouraging me and for giving me the boost that I need to... Um, do ask the nanny now let me see uh, someone else just posted I'm gonna see if I can bring them on camera let's see and it says adding And I don't know why it won't let me add anybody today. What is going on? Let me see. Okay, so ladies, I tell you what, there should be an icon at the bottom of your screen that has like a video and a little person with a little plus sign. If you click that button, it will let me add you to the live feed, hopefully. <laughs> you have to be Facebook friends. Okay, that's weird, Emily, because I've invited people on before that have not been my friends okay let's see it says Shannon 
Okay, Shannon. Let's see if it'll come up. Okay, so... Okay. I don't... There it is. Hi. Hi. How are you? It's kind of dark. I apologize. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I wanted to say that my nanny crush is Carrie Gray. Oh, okay. Yes. She, uh, yes, she is absolutely amazing. Out of all of my friends, all of my family, she actually showed up to help me pack. And I didn't even really ask her. She just knew I was moving and volunteered to come and help me pack. Wow. Yeah, I mean, and she did a phenomenal job. So um, she's a nanny of twins. Uh, she organizes a lot of outings for nannies that are in the Atlanta area. Okay. Uh, she just, she's the type of person that shows an amount of kindness and just she looks out for people and is really great about bringing nannies together. So she's definitely my nanny crush. I would like to um, be more like Carrie. Cool. Cool, cool, she's cool. She's amazing. She's amazing. Oh, some... I'm sorry. Go ahead. She, she just um, never ceases to amaze me. When my mom was sick in the hospital, she oh. remembered what day my mom's surgery was and was one of the only people that was messaging me throughout the days. I was at the hospital all day, um, and she kept checking back in with me to hear how the surgery was going. And, you know, I mean, it's one thing when someone's really, you know, a very, very close friend, um, but she does this with everyone. She found um, someone to knit my mom hats and sent them to my mom just knowing that, you know, she had been through chemo, she would need hats for that, and oh. set the whole thing up and had it done. So, you know, Carrie's the type of person you only have to intersect with her once, and all of a sudden she just, she's on top of everything. She's amazing. Wow. I mean, see, I, I have friends, but those type of friends, oh, my gosh, just to just know your needs and be that connected to you that they're just there. Yeah, I need more of those. Hello? Yes. <laughs> I need more of those. <laughs> they definitely make you feel um, not alone, you know, because on a day when things are really difficult, um, yeah. she was always right there, whether I was, you know, waiting to hear how my mom was or moving or, you know, setting up my new residents. I mean, she, and she's been checking on me through my, throughout my job search. Um, and you know, just she just kidding. is, yeah, she's really on top of things. And on top of it is an incredible nanny for twins. Wow. I know how to me, nannies are easy. I mean, uh, twins are easy. That's just my opinion. Well, um, that means you, that's that, your niche. Everybody yes. thinks their own niche is the easiest but you know that's because that's your specialty that's what you're meant to do well I definitely I have had my share of, of uh, I love them because they're like built-in playmates I love the way they come interact of this their own language yes and nobody penetrates that language but then they I mean it's just a silent look and they just start laughing because they know what they're saying to each other. Right. Like we have no, but it is nope. so interesting watching them. It is so interesting watching them. But uh, Carrie, if you're listening, girl. Nanny crush, nanny crush. Bless you, <laughs> bless you. And how is your, your job search going? Okay, so this is really funny. The reason I'm sitting in my car is because I have a trial. And it was supposed to begin yesterday, but the family decided to extend their stay in Savannah because of St. Patrick's Day. So they asked me, would I start tomorrow morning? But they wanted me to come and stay so I'm not commuting. So I let them know I was here, and they asked me to wait in my car because they're putting the boys down to bed. So I've been in my car now an hour. 
It's a little strange. Yeah, I don't know. It seems kind of like a red flag to me. <laughs> I've just been sitting in my car. Luckily, you've kept me entertained. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad I Absolutely. Kept even even so if I wasn't stuck in my car, you still entertain me. Okay. I have a question for you. Okay. Um, did you give someone the address of where you are? Yes. Several okay. people know where I am. And I'm in a safe neighborhood, but it's just, I mean, it's odd. I, I'm doing this to be helpful to them because I don't really want to stay in the main house. Um, I'll be in a guest room, and that's not exactly how I want this done. But the agency said she could have two trial days. I'm doing four trial days. So she has me through Friday, and then we'll give the agency a decision. Um, I might be running for my life by then. I don't know. This seems very odd. Okay. Well, I'm going to pray for you. Thank and you. This is not, this is just them trying to prepare the boys because of, I know with the children, some of the children that I work with, they work better when mom and dad have explained to them and talked to them and and then they may not want to introduce you tonight because they'll get all excited. Well, I met them on the I met them on the interview, so they've met me oh. twice. But I understand not wanting to disrupt. It's just it's a giant house, so why can I not come in and stay in the kitchen and and just be inside and not come and disrupt bedtime? But it's been an hour. I've been sitting in my car for an hour. That's a little odd. I have no clue. It's a five-month-old and a two-year-old. Hmm. That, yes. Yeah, yeah we, I, I'm thinking you were talking about older children. You were talking nope. about babies who are going to bed. And, and they're you know. on a different floor. I mean, it's not like this is a one level. I mean, they're far away from where I would be entering the house. So it's just a little odd to have me not come in. Okay. I mean, um, Interesting. Um, no, I, you don't even want to know what I was about to say. <laughs> well, um, they've been really lovely, as far as I can tell. This is just okay. this is strange. This is very strange. But I think they're overwhelmed. I think this is a case of parents immersing themselves so much so that they're crippling themselves in just functioning as as adults so everything is revolving around the children and you know i mean i'm i didn't mean to make her cry but i made her cry when i talked about you know they need to go out for date nights and if they hire me you know she said she's been captive in the house um and she's been this she's been on maternity leave six months so i think she's kind of lost it a bit well she may need a break and didn't oh know absolutely until you came in absolutely said, i i tell my parents uh when i do date night especially for newborns and for new babies or we've never been out since the baby's been born and 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 uh, it's, not it's not good for them it's not healthy and i tell them i said look this is the deal. I will take care of your child, but you have to make me a promise. And they're like, what? I said, the first hour and a half of your date night, no talking about the baby. It's only about no. you and your husband or whatever you, else you all want. Adult to conversation. About. Adult conversation. Baby. Yes. Right. Not about the baby. And most of them come home and they're like, wow. We didn't realize that we hadn't talked to each other except for the, the baby. Months. Months. <laughs> yeah. All we talked about since conception was the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. Right. And oh, no, you have to talk about something else other than well, it's, the baby. It's honestly not healthy because they, they lose a sense of themselves. I mean, it's just, it's not healthy for the parents. It's not healthy for their marriage. It's not healthy for the children. You can be a better parent when you have breaks. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. 
thing. And that's why I tell them, don't talk about them. At least for, I, I know it's impossible not to talk about, but if you're going to be right. gone for four Set hours. Set a goal. Set a goal. The first hour and a half, nothing about the baby. If it comes to your lips, close it. And I agree. Think about else and redirect the conversation. But don't, 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 don't talk I about agree. it. Because you wrap yourself up so much in this baby that you lose yourself, you lose your marriage. And yes, it's an immersion. It's a total immersion. Yes, you want to start a family, but don't lose yourself inside of that baby. Don't let the baby take well, over. And isn't the whole goal, Angela, we, we want them to be independent. We want them to grow. Yes. So if, if the whole thing is dependence, 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 you're not working toward your goal. Yeah. Now I'm scared to leave you alone. <laughs> well, I have the I have the doors locked. The doors are locked. Um, I mean, it's it's definitely strange. I mean, I I, I drove up and it was eight p.m. What time is it now? Uh, you're on the East Coast. It's it's nine thirteen. I'm on the here. East. Yeah. So yeah. over it's, an it's, hour, I've sat in the car. Oh, oh my gosh. I sent a, oh I sent a text. I sent a text when I arrived and she said, we're doing baths. And then I said, where should I park? And the next thing she told me was, um, I will have, I will have the husband call you when you can come in. Where else am I going to go? I'm in a neighborhood. So she knows I'm in the car. Very odd. <laughs> This might this might go down in nanny history. I'm scared. <sighs> not somebody not else. not a great start to my trial. Not the best start to my trial. Literally, I I, I am sitting here and I am thinking and I'm praying and I am, oh Lord Jesus. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I agree. Because uh, Emily said it's time to leave. I'm at the point of saying, run, Forrest, run. That's where I am. <laughs> You've been there for an hour. Yes, an hour. Is there any stores or anything around there? No, it's uh, all, I'm, I'm in a residential neighborhood. I mean, I am parked with other cars in a residential neighborhood. I mean, if I go drive around, the problem is I don't know my way around. I mean, I guess I could put you know, Starbucks into Waze, but that's going to take me, you know, it's going to take me away so that when they do finally say, come in, I, I won't be nearby. Wow. So mm. I know this is very strange. This is really odd. That, yeah, I, Emily, I agree with you. That would be a no for me for this family. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, they sh I totally agree, Emily. They should invite you in so you can see what bath time and bed time, all this. Um, well, and I let them know approximately what time I would arrive, and they didn't say, come earlier, come later. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I had it prearranged, so it's not as if I just suddenly – I mean, they, they had hours of notice to know, you know, if it wasn't a good time, then tell me. So I think that makes it worse because I gave them every opportunity to say, come earlier, come later, but they didn't. And they're just leaving me in the car. Okay. Shannon. Yes. As, as a nanny, I don't know how long you've been a nanny, but it's just this sense of discernment in me. Yes. And well, they, they had, they had one nanny who, it turns out was not a career nanny, not a professional nanny, just someone who happened to be good with kids. Mm -hmm. And they had her for two years, but she became extremely homesick and she moved to New York state and that's where her family is. So, but she only had the toddler. She never had the baby. So they keep telling me how excited they are about having a professional nanny that, you know, I mean, 
the mom boss is actually in very big trouble with work because she was supposed to be back weeks ago, but kind of um, had two nanny problems that didn't work out because she didn't, she didn't stay the course with the agency. She went outside the agency and found someone that she had to let go. And then someone else came along and they weren't qualified, but somehow, I don't know how she ended up with someone that was not qualified, but she did. And so now they went back to the agency, found me, and now, now I'm here. This is not good. <laughs> no, no. Just everything within me is screaming, no, 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 no. If out of all the nanny jobs that I have been on, even the ones I have had to wait, um, but it wasn't until they said I can come inside, it was because they weren't at home. And okay. they need to wait. We're on our way. We're on our way. We're starting. And I've been to the house before. I've been to the house multiple times. Oh, so okay. they know me. I've been to two interviews, and they approved me to go to the trial. So why suddenly am I having to wait in my car? Okay. Either mom is having separation anxiety from her babies because she's been – at home for so long and you coming in and taking over and taking charge of, uh, I don't know. Uh, but the I, husband is home. They're both there. They're both at home. So that makes it even more that one of them isn't, you know, uh, making I, it so I can come inside. Uh, I'm saying this out of love. I mean, and from a, from a, from a heartfelt place, please right. leave. Please, please call the agency, leave a message, tell them that you have been waiting outside for over an hour. It's what time is it now? It's 818. You've been there for for an, an hour, hour, almost an hour and a half. You've been right. waiting outside for an hour and a half and that you don't feel comfortable. Okay. It may be a problem that's going on inside and they want to keep you outside and this may not be a problem that you want to walk into. Even right. after you calm down, this may be, not be something. You may go in and find something that you don't want to witness. So if I were you, please call the agency and leave them a voicemail now saying that I got here at this time. Even give a snapshot of the text messages that you and you know, send it to the agency if they have a whatever, a email it to them. I'm sure they have an email address. This is the time I got here. This is the time I'm calling you now. This is why I'm calling you. I'm still sitting outside in my car waiting on them to tell me it's okay to be in. But this is a <sighs> big, huge, no, this is not a little red flag. This is 10,000 flags flying. You know, no, right. no. No, sign language, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. So you don't think I should text them or give them any just, chance to sleep, just go? Them, it's, I send them a message. I, as a courtesy, I would t send them a message and tell them I've been waiting for an hour and a half. And, you know, tell them that, you know, you have things to do. They're holding up your life. Right. You're not paid for this. But I did. I drove an hour and thirty minutes to get here. And see, that's even worse. Yeah. So I have to they turn around. You had to come, and then you. They want you to spend the night. They made you come tonight so that you could spend the night. Right. That, and, and you know you're tired because if you got there an hour ago, which was let me see eight. Uh, is I nine, pulled up at eight p.m. So you had to leave yes. at 30 in the middle of traffic to get there on time. And they don't have the common courtesy to be ready for you on time, knowing that you left. You no, know, just leave them a, a nice net note and say, you know, if I'm getting ready to leave, um, if you decide you want me, please call me, you know, I'll be back tomorrow or talk to the agency, have them go through the agency, have the agency to contact you. But this is something inside of me. Just please. Uh Oh, and we lost her. Okay.
I'm sorry, everyone, but when I see one of my nanny sisters in trouble, I cannot just let it go. I cannot just sit by and not do anything. Um, but I'm hoping that if Shannon is listening, that she will send them a note and call the agency. Oh, that was the husband. Oh, okay. So that was the husband. He wasn't told I was waiting outside. Wow. Okay. Please keep us informed, Shannon. <laughs> please, please, please keep us informed. Because um, we want to know that you're okay and that everything is going great. Please keep us informed. Let us know. Even if we're off the air, please send a message, text a message after at, uh, doing the rebroadcast. Whew. Okay. I'm going to pull my heart back in right now because that just kind of weighed heavy on my heart. Um, I don't like to see anybody in trouble, especially one of my nanny sisters. And that just sounded kind of weird to me. And it really, you know, just kind of, I'm still kind of leery about it because if mom didn't tell dad and dad's, anyway, moving right along. Is there anyone else who has a, 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 uh, I'm so distracted by this right now. Is there anyone else who has a Nanny Crush Monday and you'd like to come on and uh, tell your Nanny Crush why they are important to you and why you they inspire you? Let's see. Let me go. Thank you, Christina. I'm sorry I, um, for just now getting back to you uh, about the hair comment. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm trying something new. Um, do you have a, a nanny crush? Let me see if I can bring you on. Let's see. Somebody's saying hi to me. Hi, Janelle. Hi, Daphne. Okay, so that was not what was planned for tonight, but um, I'm glad that we were there for her, and I'm glad that we could help. Is there anyone else who would like to uh, give a shout out to your nanny crush Monday? I'll give it a few minutes. Um, I agree with you, Emily. Totally weirded out too. Hi, Chevelle. How are you? Uh, as a professional, we are to look at look out for each other. When we see a fellow nanny may be taking the wrong career path, that's why you are my nanny crush, Angela. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you speak from the heart and want the best for all of us. Yes, I do. Okay, Christina, I understand. Thank you, thank you, thank you for waiting with us to see if Shannon was okay. We're all concerned about her and her safety. And hopefully she will text us tonight or else I will be blowing up Messenger tonight trying to uh, figure out... Uh, who is, uh, where she is, and if she's safe. Oh, Janelle wants to know what happened. Um, it's a long story, but short. the short of it is uh, Shannon was sitting outside waiting on the family to let, them in the ho let her in the house. And um, she's been sitting for an hour and a half. And they were expecting her, but mom told her to wait. And she's been waiting for an hour and a half. And nobody has come, nobody has called, and now Dad just came and said, and here it is an hour and a half later after I told her to leave, Dad comes and says that it's time she can come in. So, anyway, that's the long and the short of it. But if you go back and watch the rebroadcast, you'll see the whole story. 
Um, but yeah, it was pretty scary. It's kind of still worrying me. But uh, yeah. Uh, would love an update when you get one. Thank you. Good night, guys. Yes, Christina, I will update everyone uh, so that uh, everyone will know what's going on with, with Shannon. And because uh, this is, you know, bothering me. Um, let me see. Miss Chevelle, can you come on camera? Oh, he says I can't bring you on. I don't know if she's still here. Let me see. Let me see if I can get her to come back. Because I definitely wanted to give her a shout out. But anyway, ladies, um, for those of you who are watching, those of you who are concerned, <laughs> I feel you on that one, Janelle. I would have left too. I, I would have been gone to, I, you know, I would have left the text, called the agency and told them, that's it, I'm done. You know, I don't, I don't understand what the situation was. I don't know what was going on inside the house, the reason she couldn't come in, but it just sounded like a pretty dangerous and, um, okay, Emily Kate wants to come back on. She has something to say. <laughs> Hi. 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 Three and a half. Oh, it's okay. I seriously don't want people thinking that is normal in a job. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not. Not this. Hi, Janelle. You I are. I just can't believe you're going in and out. How about now? Am I, can you I hear can me hear now? I can hear you now. Okay. I'm just, it just is bugging me deep down that that's going on. Yes. And I'm sitting here worried. I'm like, okay, so dad just now coming me out. Me too. To that's why I should have. Why is dad coming out? Why can't she just walk up to the door and greet both of them at the same time? And I'm just like, I watch too much TV, apparently. Too many mysteries, apparently. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that was a weird situation. And um, if I don't hear her, I'm, uh, I'm going to be blowing her messenger up. And and I suggest that you all, those Me of you too. who know her, please do the same so that her phone will ding, ding, ding off the hook and uh, somebody will get an answer and please reply here. Uh, so we will all know that she is okay because we have to love one another. Okay, Emily, you're going in and out and in slow motion. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Is this better? Is that better? Okay. Yes. Okay. I was just, I don't, I don't want anybody to think that that's normal. And I don't understand why it's taking an hour to put two kids to bed. It should be a very quick put down with that young of mm -hmm. age. She's just well, logistics because that's, that's the main She's ages I work with. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's kind of strange to me. And it, it just, all of it sounds yeah, strange that, because they were expecting her. They knew that she had to commute. So they asked her to come in tonight and if you're expecting me tonight, I don't expect to have to sit in my car for an hour and a half in a strange neighborhood where people are looking at me. And you probably no. got, if it's a nice neighborhood, they probably have the neighborhood watch. Does everybody's peeping out the curtain, looking at her and trying to figure out why she's sitting here all this time. And I'm surprised that the police or some kind of security hadn't come by and knocked on the window to find out, you know, who are you and why are you not talking who she is. Definitely, and and that's just bugging me. An hour and a half. And she got there at eight o'clock. She's on Eastern time, and it is what time? It's eight thirty now here, so it's nine thirty there. And he just came and got her ten minutes ago. 
So that's like an hour and a half. Why would I not have to sit? And these kids are young enough. And she said that the entrance that she had to go through was away from the kids. They're on a different floor. This is screaming so many red flags to me on many levels as to how they their health. Yes. It doesn't sound right. Something's going on. And that's and and this is to be a red flag. This is you want to make make your best impression on your first day, both parties. Right. And if this is their best impression on their first days, it's not going to get any better than no. this. It's going to only go downhill from here. And, and this may the red flag may be the warning. Run, Boris, run. You know. Exactly. When you said that, I laughed so hard. But I, I was like, to say it earlier, but I didn't it's want scary, to scare but her. I, I'm serious. I did not want to scare her because I was scared for her. I mean, I know I have anxiety sometimes about things like this because you know I don't do scary movies. I don't do thrillers. But this is something straight out of the thriller movies. <laughs> it is. No, I was. I I was sitting there and I was getting ready to go out with my charge because we're in Vegas and it's two hours behind you guys. So we're fixing to go to dinner. And I'm like, I can't get off this. Like I'm sitting here trying to get dressed, but I'm like, I can't get off because I need to know that she's okay. And that she knows this is not normal. And this is not okay. Right. I mean, <gasps> I see horror stories all the time with nannies. Yes. And that's why I'm I mean, like, um, you're in a nice neighborhood and apparently they're in a huge house. Because if she's in a separate entrance, they're on a different floor. You can't see them. You can't hear them. They can't. Okay. So it, to me, and this is just my, you know, active imagination going. If you're coming in through a different entrance, the kids are on the other end of the house, so they can't see anything. They can't hear anything. Anything can happen on this side of the house. And I'm like, how do you know there's a exactly. in there while you're waiting on the, the next nanny? Okay, here comes the next nanny. Exactly. No. Exactly. And a lot of nannies are like, they they need a job so badly that they forget all the rules of common sense. It's just like, you know, SVU. This is exactly what this reminds me of is uh, law and order SVU. Things like uh, this happen so much. And it's not, it's not uncommon. It's very common. That's why I was just like, this is screaming against every safety rule in the book I know. For I know. And now maybe we need to put together a safety and, thing. And for that's nannies. why I asked her, how many people know where you are? And Yes, I heard that. I was like <laughs> oh, Okay, see, my husband, my children, you know, several people know where I am. If they don't hear from me within a certain amount of time, they come looking for me. Yeah. They don't call. They just come look. My husband is an army ranger, an ex army ranger. He's not gonna call. He's just gonna get in the car and come and, and you know doors down. And, exactly. You, know, you didn't call me. I didn't hear from you. I did that one time. I forgot to call yep. because I was playing with the baby. And the next thing I know, my husband's at the door. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm fine. I'm yep. fine. I'm fine. Yeah. It only took one time because he had this frown on his face like, what are you doing to my wife? And I was like, I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my parents were like, well, no, I got the job. One of my and bosses. It may have been because of him. <laughs> yeah. But I am not for her. Yes, I understand. But one of my bosses. You froze on Extremely me. close. And I where she's at and she knows where I'm at okay. at all times because I travel too much. It's it's just something and I know that's not common in the native community to have your boss have tabs on you at all times but we go too much, we travel too much and I'm with the children by myself too right. when we're out and away. If we need someone to know where we're at and we can't make that phone call and something's happened that tracker just saved my life. Yes. Yes. For and, sure. uh, no matter how unpopular that opinion is, and in our state of privacy, you know, my life's more important than my privacy at that point. And you can turn it off and on when you get ready. You're done with that job. Exactly. You're, done. you're back on, on, you know, on safe, dry land. Okay. 
rip it off. Yeah. You know, you exactly I'm away. I'm outside of the country with you. I'm outside of the city or wherever yep. we normally reside, wherever we normally are. Okay. Turn it back on. That's yeah. Cool. Well, my boss, when I went to Europe, she had tracks on me every single place I went and she knew every day I gave her an itinerary of every day where I was supposed to be and she would call and check on me when I got to dangerous places that she knew I was going she'd be like how are you doing where are you at are you on schedule is everything okay yes and that is crucial to have for anyone not just a nanny but especially a woman alone in this day and age yes and that's oh gosh yeah Ooh. I'm just, just everything in me. Better to be safe yes. than sorry. I'd rather, I'd rather you be worried and worried sick about me and come looking for me than to not look for me at all and say, oh, she's okay. She's got this. She's done this so many times. You know, the one time yep. that, that you think I'm safe, I'm okay, that I need. Yes, Janelle, we can pray. Yes, Janelle, pray. <laughs> And you're very, I'm sorry, I wasn't ignoring you, but you're welcome. And I'll chat with you anytime you need. Doesn't bother me yes. a bit. That's what, what me and Angela and all of us here are here for. We're here to talk and be here for the community. So, okay. Ladies, I think all of you who are praying nannies and even those of you who aren't, we need to pray for her. And as soon as we get on the broadcast, yep. I'm going to see if I can call her via messenger. Because uh, I don't have a number. Yes. Uh, and, um, and I'll get, uh, try to get Crystal, in touch with her also. do you know who Carrie what, is? Because yes. I'm sure she, if she, if she told anybody, yes. she probably told Carrie where she's going. And Carrie probably knows where the, the agency that she's going. Yeah. And Carrie came to help her pack and do all this other stuff with her mom. I'm sure Carrie knows where she is. So is there any way? Perfect. Crystal said okay. yes. Is there any way that you can contact Carrie? Because I don't know who Carrie is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I do either. I don't know I mean, if it's K E R R Y or K A K A R R I E. I, I don't know because there's a Carrie that just came on here. I don't. I'm not sure if that's the same Carrie. Um, I already messaged Shannon. Hopefully, she responds. Definitely. We can all reach out so she knows that we've all got yes. her back and she's got, yes. oh, Carrie Gray. Now we've got the Carrie. So thank you thank, so much, Crystal. Thank You're you. going to eat our you. minds so yes. much. Because wherever it is, it's somewhere in the Atlanta area. And I'm over here in Dallas. I can't do anything. <laughs> and I'm in Vegas. I'm, I'm out in La La Land. I can't do really anything but worry and fret and pray. And pray. And pray. And thank you, Janelle. We touch and agree. And yes, thank you, Janelle. Thank you, Janelle. This is... <sighs> thank you, Lord Jesus. Put your hedge of protection around her right now. Okay. Oh, yes. Wow. Hopefully all what goes just well. <laughs> oh, I don't know. What, just what went blank. And then you came back. It's magic. Because <laughs> all of a sudden I heard, <laughs> and it went black, and then it came back. So, Whoa. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Um. Well, I'll say goodbye, okay. and we'll try to get a hold okay. of Okay, I will try to get a hold of her. So. Thank you, ladies, for your shout tonight. And um, I know this started out as one thing, but um, let's pray for our nanny sister Shannon and whoever gets a hold of her first. Please come back here and make a comment, or. Um, we need to let her know that we are concerned about her, that we are here for her, that we stick together. And um, yeah, so I'm going to sign off now. Oh, yes, Shannon says she's okay. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You scared. 
I'm so glad you're okay. I'm so glad you're okay. Okay. Phew. Okay. We were praying for you, girl. Definitely praying for you. And we want to hear from you tomorrow, too, to make sure you're still okay. I know, Janelle. Praise Jesus. I know, right? Praise God. Yes. So, uh, Shannon, uh, let us hear from you tomorrow. Okay. It was miscommunication. Whew. This is a drama show. Y'all didn't know that, did you? Yes, we're full of drama. We, <laughs> we packed a mighty punch tonight. But... We're glad that you're okay, Shannon. Let us hear from you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. And I will update everyone tomorrow. Or you can come right here and update everyone tomorrow, Shannon. <laughs> but we, we are so glad that you're okay. And uh, ladies, it is now uh, 843. Okay, Shannon. Thank you. It is now 843. And we will talk to you next week. Next week, we will have, um, let's see, Laura Rideout is coming. And she will be talking to us about the INA. Mativich. And Kate Mativich will be here who also happens to be the one of the uh, 2018 INA uh, Nanny of the Year nominees. So we'll be talking with her about that too. But she's going to tell us about the Ambassadors Program. So join us next week, and it's all about the INA. And if you haven't signed up for International Nanny Training Day, please do so. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Um, get signed up. And Janelle said, and Thursday is the toddler conference. Okay. I'm not aware of the toddler conference. So, Janelle, can you please leave some information about the toddler conference for us, please? Because I was not aware of that. Um, but please do so. Uh, just leave it in the comments so that we can all come back and view it and see if there's something that we can attend. Thank you so much. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And um, we'll stay tuned for part two, as Emily said. <laughs> and, uh, okay, we'll ask Emily to lead, to lead the info. Okay, all right. So, we'll see you all next week. And have a good night.